Now, Homer, don't you worry. Your family's gonna be here before you know it. Forget it, pal. There's only one way out of here, and it ain't pretty. What's that? Dating a nurse. Oh. I told you kids you were going to send your father to the crazy house. Hey, Mom, you said poor house. I said crazy house. Poor house. Crazy house. Poor house. Crazy house. Hello. You've reached the new Bedlam wrongly committed hotline. All of our operators are currently busy. Please stay on the line. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> What's wrong, Homer? This place is so strange. Mike. I'm ashamed to admit it to another guy, but I'm scared. We all get scared once in a while. Maybe I can help you. Homer, the two of us need look no more. We both found what we were looking for. With a friend to go my own, I'll never be alone. And you, my friend, will see you've got a friend in me. Mm. Cakes, football, boobies. Bubbles, Parker. it's going to be a long night. Waffles. Please feel free to express yourselves. In these sessions, we want you to feel relaxed and uninhibited. <laughs> Okay, so I was working in an insurance company, right? <laughs> Youngest VP in the history of the firm, okay? The job was my life. Then one Monday morning, <clears throat> I got up. I couldn't leave the house. I just couldn't. Was the door locked? No. I just couldn't face what was out there. Was it raining? No, Homer, Dave suffers from agoraphobia, a fear of open areas and crowds. Please, Dave, go on. Thank you. Anyway, that day I knew I, I just couldn't make that long drive to work. Were you out of gas? <laughs> Baby. Mrs. Simpson, I'm sorry, but your husband suffers from a persecution complex, extreme paranoia, and bladder hostility. Doctor, if you just talk to him for five minutes without mentioning our son, Bart, you'd see how sane he is. You mean there really is a Bart? Good Lord! Mmm, pancakes. Oh, Mr. Simpson, you've got a visitor. Go! Marge! Oh, homie! <laughs> Mr. Simpson, after talking to your wife, we believe you're no threat to yourself or others. That's the most flattering thing anyone has ever said to me. Could I have it in writing, please? Of course. Not insane. Hmm. I'm proud of you, Homer. Thanks a lot, Michael. You really helped me get through this. If you ever find your marbles, come visit us. Well, how about today? I'm only here voluntarily. You are? Why? Well, back in 1979, I got real depressed when my off-the-wall album just got one lousy Grammy nomination. 